This is Carl Craig, Glarebox at Hayabiza. Uncle Carl asked, and I'm asking questions all the time with people that I respect and, and uh, that you need, to, you need to be a part of. And today, we have the one and only DJ Holographic here in the house. And this isn't your first time playing Glitter Box. Here, no, it? but it, it's not my first time playing high, but opening up a room is always special. And so I haven't done it in a while. And I was like thinking about like, holy shit, what am I going to do? Because it's, you know, you, you bring the vibe, you start the energy yeah. for the, the staff, to the bartenders, to the um, security, to the, you know, the random friend that snuck in early. Like yeah. you're the one that's like bringing the vibe and it's really special. Yeah. Um, it my actually, I was thinking about movies in my head about how his coach that girl, uh -huh. at Nacto, and reminding like how like it started the night for me, yeah. and how you know like the first five minutes and minutes, as a DJ's performing, what kind of night it was going to be. Right, right. So. And do you, is it something that you feel starting the night? Do you, do you play to get people excited that are walking in the door or are you no. like just setting a tone totally setting a tone like i okay. want the tone and i've noticed this more throughout the like three years like i want it to be sexy uh -huh. and like just the word is trashy but it's not trashy it's sexy and just like a little messy that's what i want because okay. i feel like that's how club energy is i don't think i need to be uh the dj that you have to look at or you need to like be here to like impress anybody. You just need to be a little sexy, and like sometimes people have to get out of their comfort zones to feel that way. Yeah, right. Because Seth, Seth Troxler and I, we opened up um, the Crosstown thing yeah, in Miami yeah. last year, and uh, after us was Sasha, and I just kept. Saying to Sasha, yeah, we put our funk on tonight. Mm -hmm. You had to follow up our <laughs> funk. <laughs> yeah. He was like looking at you like, mm -hmm. you had to follow our funk. Oh, so God. that's that's like for me, that's how I feel when mm -hmm. when opening up. Because I I actually love opening up yeah. because I feel that I can play like I can play some Miles Davis if I really want. I I watched you up. open up yeah. a couple of times and I was like thinking about that too, actually when yeah. you open up uh, at T V lounge right. one night and you're like you were playing like the whole night. And then when you brought it in, I was like, okay, this is why he's Carl Craig. Yeah. Like, no question. Yeah. Because, like, opening up for a whole room and, like, having your whole night, it feels probably really good. And you, you control the room, but in a very, I think, in a very um, in, intelligent way. Yeah. But also, like you said, putting the funk on it. Yeah, you gotta put your, you gotta put your stank you on gotta, it. It's like, this is, because it was only you. Like, the whole set throughout the entire time was like, this is yeah. just, you know, what else could have ever done this. Yes, yeah, you gotta so. put your own stank on it. So did you have the glitter box dancers in there too? Yeah, 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 I love it. I yeah. loved it a lot. How often did they come in? I'll be honest, for some amount of reason, I didn't really look up as much as like I normally do. Okay. I usually have like the decks a little higher I'll ask for so I can like uh, be able to have eye contact. Yeah. Um, because I'm really tall. Yeah. Uh, but this time I was looking down most of the time probably because I'm also a little injured. So yeah. I was kind of watching my leg more than <laughs> Yeah, Nothing. because your your injury, which is which is uh, you know like super trooper, it's super is trooper, you got hurt coming to the set at movement I got, yeah. and just got on. Yeah, no, fuck and yeah. Just played the set. Yeah. And then went to the doctor after. Well, like twenty four <laughs> hours. Yeah, going to the doctors. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean like Moody Man. Okay, so I'm like literally right there. I can see the stage. Moody Man said my name at least twice between yeah. either right before I injured myself yeah. and then right after. Like, if, if Candy said your name, DJ Holographic, two times on yeah. stage, I'm not not coming. <laughs> you and better it, get up there. And I'm already there. I'm like right there. Yeah. And the person that helped me, like, it was a stranger. Yeah. He's like, oh, do you mean to call the ambulance? I'm like, no, 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 I'm already here. And like, yeah. you look injured. I'm like, well, like, I'm here, so yeah, let me just do my hurt job. Another two hours. Oh my god, no. No, not no. two hours. Not not hell. It's not like you got shot. No, no, I did not get <laughs> shot. I was totally just injured, yeah. and it was like the instantly it happened. It was like, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, you're too old for this shit. Oh, <laughs> that's the first thing my thoughts said. Um, right. Yeah. But you also, but you were actually, you told me you actually injured yourself on tour yeah. outside of the country. Yeah, yeah. I was no. in Japan and I walked off the stage and broke my foot and I finished the tour without going to the doctor. I got on a plane from Tokyo to London 
And then I took a train from London to Cornwall. Then I saw a doctor. Holy fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I broke my foot again here playing basketball. And I You played basketball, yeah. Yeah, playing basketball. Who with you? Uh, me, Luciano, and Kevin Saunderson. And I, you know what? I love that. No though. drinking champagne before I play basketball. No, no. Plus I was wearing some low, low, uh, some low top. Chuck no, no all, no all stars. Oh Slip, broke it. Still was acting crazy. You're so funny. That's just. Yeah. I couldn't do that. Like, <laughs> like luckily enough, I'm like ten minute drive from my house when it happened. Yeah, You're like right. across the world. Was that the strangest place that you played, or what's the strangest place that you played? I don't know. I I've played in some strange places. Give me, give me a strange place. I mean, the only place I can think that's strange, strange for place. other people, but not strange for me, yeah. it would be like a sex party in San Francisco. Okay. okay. But it was more strange because they had like paper towels, not baby wipes, and okay. I was like, "What the fuck? Right. I guess not have baby wipes." And that. So was there more ass or more titties? Oh, totally ass and dick. There was no <laughs> titties other than my own. There was no none, none. That's why it was like one of the safest places for me to be at. Yeah. Because no one's gonna fuck with me. So did you uh, did you wear clothes or did you put a garbage bag on to protect yourself from all the? Uh... I had a cute dress on. Did you have a dress on? I had a cute dress yeah. on. So you and a harness. Paper towels, no baby wipes. Nope. I was like so surprised. I was like, you guys yeah. should have baby wipes. And then when it was time to when it was time to get your clothes clean, did you wash them? My or clothes were so clean. Were they clean? They were clean. I told you, like nobody <laughs> wanted me. I was not the desire item in the room. Right. I was just bringing. I was just playing the beats. Okay. Um, and it was fun. It was really cute. But like I said, it wasn't the strangest place. It's the only place I could think that other people would think would be strange. Right. Um, so probably no, the most strangest place is probably like my dad's backyard playing for some oh, graduation or something. Oh man, come on. That'd that's be, stranger than that's sex strange party. to me. Get out of here. Yeah, because because like you know you know <laughs> you know like like family members have weird requests, and I'm like I don't got that. I don't want to play that. Really? If there was a fragrance, <laughs> if you had a fragrance. What would you want it to be called? Oh, if I had a fragrance, what would it be called? Yeah, what would it be called if you had a fragrance? Ooh, I mean, actually, so this is one thing I do is I'd be uh, Catalina, my middle name. Okay. And right now, we actually talked about this. Um, the Le the Le Labo. Is that a fragrance for you? Le Labo. Le yeah. Labo, yeah, sorry, yeah. Le Labo. Um, I like their like scents all over, especially the Chicago one. Uh -huh. Um, and anytime I buy any of their fragrances, I literally use my middle name. Okay. On the so bottle. Put on the bottle. Yeah, but yeah. I really like uh, um, Poly Santo. Yeah. And actually, was burning it a lot um, okay. on stage earlier today. Oh, you had it for mm -hmm. you? I got I some. Need to do that too. I got some for you. Yeah, I should do. You, know, you I, used to do it. I was thinking. I used know. to do uh, stuff like that. I should. I should get some Orishas. I should start doing voodoo on the stage. Well, on that Lalabo thing, um, I had a. I think I got, I don't even use it very much anymore. It's called uh, the patchouli one. Mm -hmm. And the woman asked what did I want to put on it. And I told her Uncle Sweet Dick. Mm -hmm. So Uncle Sweet Dick God. is what I have on my Lalabo tag. Sweet Dick. Uncle Sweet Dick, Uncle not Sweet, Sweet Dick. Dick. Uncle, Uncle Sweet, Sweet Dick. Dick. So, with, yes. the, with a K? With, yes. With a K. Uncle Sweet Dick. How has Detroit uh, influenced your sound? You got mm. any? Uh, Detroit influences my sound. Uh, it's a radio station. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a radio station growing up. Uh, also, when I was younger, my grandmother would have like the radio or CD or whatever she was playing in the oh. living room okay. while she's cooking in the kitchen. And she'll let us like, you know, listen to the radio, play whatever. But she would be the one controlling, or the goal is her controlling what we listen to. Right. And then we would get older and she let us like choose a song or two. Yeah. And that's when like how I started like, you know, DJing kind of in a way, but with my cousins. Okay. And so we're all like listening to like, um, well, I would say Prince, but she was not a big fan of Prince. Right. Okay. At that age. So she liked Michael Jackson, Temptations, Aretha Franklin, Diana okay. Ross. So was um, she playing mostly Motown stuff? Definitely or? Motown stuff. Uh -huh. So was somebody doing a shout out and you heard them say, yeah, this is for Holographic. And you're like, that's going to be my DJ name. No, it was so no? totally Star Trek. Star Trek, it came Star from Trek, that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, tell, tell, uh, what, how? What? It's a D, not DC, um, uh, Next Generation. They would have okay. uh, the holodecks. Ah, the holodecks. And so I loved the, the every episode that had a holodeck because 
they would go into the holodeck and you know they would create their own reality yeah. but to be honest it would always break and so they're we call it um it would break and they had to, like fight for their lives yeah so it was just funny like that it would just change the reality it would alter people's personalities and stuff so that was kind of cool okay and so i feel like i bring that energy to the room too yeah i think holographic is better than holodeck even though holodeck is could be your label holodeck holodeck would be cool holodeck 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 holla 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 <laughs> that's like it's gonna be a lot of uh, branding right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had a we had a bunch of these questions, so I think that um, I outside a, of going too deep, I, yeah. I think we're we're pretty good on this. So. Well, I, I want I have a question. Yeah, hit it. Hit me. All hit right. me with the question. You got, I got your question. Okay. So my question for you. Yeah. And I'm trying not to be too deep because I know we got some time to go. Um, every time. You walk into a spot. Is there a vibe that you personally say to yourself, or a word that you say to yourself? When I walk into what? When you walk into a spot, or going into a club. Is there oh. like something that like you personally inside like say to yourself or feel before you walk oh. in? Uh, you know, I, I guess I always look at it as how receptive the people are going to be. Mm. And I have to be, I have to put my ego aside in case oh, they're yeah. not receptive enough. And then other times, you know, I, I don't walk in like like uh, like Rick James, like I'm the baddest motherfucker. I play one of his songs, really. Amazing. <laughs> Big time? No, no, you have to guess. You have guessing. But no, no. no. no so, so, you, so, so yeah, you gotta, I put my ego aside because I don't, I don't want to walk in and, you know, feel that that what I do isn't up to snuff. Yeah. I just want to do it and I look at it I look at it like a game actually. Okay. You know. So when I play I look at it like if Tiger Woods is doing a perfect you know, oh, perfect that's, that's perfect that's game. That's an extreme game though. Yeah. So you know, not every record is going to work, not every mix is going to work. But if the whole game was done well, mm. then it's the shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? that's true. Because I'm so used to being in the studio that I can nitpick about everything. And for a long time, if a mix was bad, then everything would collapse. Because it was like I was seeing buildings collapse in front of me because this one mix didn't work. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's just like, oh, my God. But, but I look at DJing... Um, as as not only an art form but i look at it as a, a way of me expressing myself artistically so me ar expressing myself artistically isn't going to be always something that everybody's going to like it's like of course, of course it's like not. uh uh salvador dali's work you i know? love his work that's the first art i actually enjoy sure yeah, yeah right because there's people that that love the concept of surrealism and then there's other people that hate it because they consider him a fascist. Yeah. <laughs> so. But it's like but his work, you know, is uh, very unique, and I love when people make artwork based on dreams. Right. But yeah, also the same sure. concept, like you said, like, I I like the way you say that because it can really be like um, you're hanging on every moment of like your mix a yeah. little too much, but nobody else heard it but yeah. you and maybe the sound engineer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that that nitpicking thing, but you know when I really. When I really want to boost my ego, because I think snare snare rolls are an ego thing. <laughs> when people play snare rolls all the time, so if you hear me playing snare rolls, I'm boosting my ego because I want to like get a reaction, a certain reaction from it. Yeah, so no, yeah, I, I like that. It is a reaction yeah. sometimes. Like I, I hate sets where everybody's playing snare rolls the whole way through. Mm. But if I do it, it's purposely for a, the purpose of self gratification. Oh, okay. I play it just to get a reaction, which is like the opposite of like self gratification. Cause I'm like, okay, let's go. Like, wake up. Did you have your espresso? What are you doing here? Like, let's go. So, is there a record? Last question. No, I had a last, last question. Was, had last question. Last question. Okay. Is there a record that you play that makes the floor explode every time? Yeah. So, um, nasty girl. <laughs> Prince right? Yeah, I love it. Your grandma that. wouldn't let you play it. 
No, my girl, I don't know why she didn't like friends. I mean, I know why. Because she's nasty. So nasty girl is a track that makes the room go nuts. Yeah, I love Fantastic. it. Fantastic. So <laughs> this is it. Uncle Carl asks here at Glitterbox with DJ Holographic, the nasty girl. Uncle Sweet Dick. Uncle Sweet Dick is in the house. Thank you very much, guys, for uh, sticking with us. We had a wonderful time. It was perfect. Thank you for having me. Of course. I appreciate it. It's my honor. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet Dick. It's uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs>